Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch Detroit become human game on your computer or if you are facing crashing, freezing or any kind of error on your computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now there are multiple steps. So at the end of each step, try to launch the game. Still you're facing the problem, then move on to the next step. So, so the first step is to go ahead and update Windows 10. So go to the start menu, then click on settings and then click on update and security and then click on check for update and go ahead and install the update and then restart a computer and then try to launch the game. Next step is to install Microsoft Visual C++ files from Microsoft website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. So open this link in a browser, scroll down and then here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 2017 and 2019. So go ahead and install both x86 and x64 version. So click on it, run the exe file. Click on run. Click on repair or install whatever option you see. Click on yes to allow. And you have to install x64 version 2 so download this file too I'm, I'm installing both the file, click on yes to allow. So once the uh, file is, once the installation is complete, do not restart the computer, click on close for now, because we will restart at the end. And meanwhile, this is installing, I will show you what next to be done. You also have to install Visual Studio 2013. So click on this Microsoft link click on it it will take you to the next page and then scroll down and here you can see English United States and this is x64 file so go ahead and click on this hyperlink and download this link and once the download is complete run this file to click on run then click on repair or install whatever you see and click on yes to allow and once this is done close this window scroll down and install x86 version 2 and then click on this file and then once the download is complete run click on run then click on repair or install whatever you see click on yes to allow then close it and you can also try to install visual studio 2012 Click, the, click on this link and then it will be asking you to log in and after you log in you can go ahead and install. So most of the time installing uh, Visual Studio 2013 file and 2015, 17 and 19 takes care of the problem. So go ahead and install it and at the end you can go ahead and restart your computer so go to the start menu then click on the power icon then click on restart and after the restart try to launch the game still you are facing the problem then go ahead and run epic games launcher or steam as an administrator now if you're using steam uh, go ahead and type in steam in windows search box and then make a right click on steam and then click on open file location now make a right click on exe file the steam exe file and then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on option which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply then click on ok now if you have epic games launcher go ahead and type in epic games launcher in windows search and then make a right click on epic games launcher and and then go to the location once again open file location and then 
make a right click on Epic Games Launcher exe file and then select properties. And then again do the same thing go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on option which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply okay and then do the same thing with the game exe file so open file explorer then go to this pc and go to the game installation path so in your case it might be c drive so open program files x86 go to steam folder open steam folder and then open steam apps and then open the common folder and you'll be able to see the game over here, the game folder. In my case, I have installed the game in D drive. So I'll go to D drive, go to open Steam apps and then open the common folder and then open Detroit become human folder. And over here, you will be able to see the game exe file. So you can see the game exe file over here, then make a right click, then select properties go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on option which says run this program as an administrator then click on apply then click on ok and then try launching launching the game now in few cases i've seen that uh, after you know running the game or the steam or epic games launcher as an administrator you receive this error which says error ls0013 so for this you, you can go ahead and try to run the game and the game client as an administrator if still you are facing the problem, then go ahead and uncheck the administrator. So go to the uh, game exe file. And if this is checked, go ahead and uncheck this and apply and then click on OK. In case if you are receiving this error message, which says LS0013. So you can go ahead and uncheck it and then you can go ahead and first of all, try to run as an administrator. If you are receiving the error, then go ahead and uncheck it, then click on apply, then OK and do it with the same uh, with the steam client as well as epic games launcher so try to uncheck administrator from the epic games launcher too in case uh, you are receiving that error message now next step is to do a clean installation of graphic card driver to do a clean installation of your graphic card driver go to the website so go to the um, if you have nvidia go to nvidia website if you have amd go to NV amd website so i'm showing for nvidia just go ahead and type in nvidia drivers in google search go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list so whatever is the graphic card what you know whatever graphic card you have go ahead and select your graphic card if you're not sure uh, about which graphic card you have make a right click on the start menu and then select device manager and then go to the display adapter and here you can see the graphic card so select your graphic card and then click on search and then click on download and once you cl click on download a exe file will download and then you will see this uh, installer on the screen. You have to go ahead and click on agree and continue. Now you have to go ahead and select the option which says custom. So click on custom, then click on next and then put a check on option which says perform a clean installation. So put a check over here, then click on next. It will go ahead and do a clean installation of your Nvidia graphic card driver. After that, restart your computer and then try to launch the game. Now in case you have AMD graphic card, go to AMD website. Just type in AMD and Google search and then click on driver and support and go ahead and download the. You can use this auto detect tool which will help you to install the latest graphic card or you can manually update it from here. Now still you are facing the problem then go ahead and run the game in compatibility mode. So to do so go to the game installation folder once again and select your game exe file and then make a right click and then select properties go to compatibility tab and then put a check on run this program in compatibility mode for windows 8 and then click on apply ok you can also try windows 7 so and then click on apply and ok and then try to launch the game now the next step is to verify the game file in epic games launcher or steam client so whatever you have so if you are trying to launch the game from epic open epic game launcher if you have steam go to steam go to library then make a right click on the game and then select properties go to local file tab over here and then click on verify integrity of game files and then uh, once the verification is done you can close this and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now if you have epic games launcher go to the library and then uh, in my case i have i have the game in steam so if you have the game over here then click on this three dot on the bottom of the type 
and then here you will see the verify option so in my case i don't have the game over here but i have the game in steam so verify the game files um, in epic games launcher or steam wherever wherever you have the game and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now the next step is to set the resolution or try to lower down the resolution so go to the window display settings so just make a right click on your desktop somewhere on the desktop make a right click and then select display settings click on display settings and then make sure the display resolution is set to you have, you have the right resolution selected so whatever is the resolution of your monitor or your laptop or your desktop make sure that this is selected as recommended so make sure that the desktop resolution and the monitor resolution is same or you can also try to lower down resolution and check it for a few users you know just lowering down the resolution has fixed the problem also make, make sure that the screen scale the scale is scale and layout is also set to recommended or you can also try 100% and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now for few users i have seen that you know rolling back the graphic card driver has fixed the problem so you can go ahead and roll back the graphic card driver so open device manager make a right click on the start menu and then select device manager and then go to display adapter select your graphic card from the list then select properties go to driver tab and then here you, if you, if this option is highlighted which says roll back driver if this is highlighted you can go ahead and click on it and you know try to roll back to previous version and then try to launch the game and for many users i have seen that uh, version 446.14 has worked so you can copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link and then you can go ahead and download this uh, driver and then you can go ahead and install it and then you can restart your computer and try try to launch the game now for many users deleting the shader cache folder has fixed the problem so you can go to the game installation folder so again go to the game where wherever the game is installed go to that drive opens steam apps open the steam apps folder and then open common folder open detroit folder and here you can see the shader cache file so just make a right click and then click on delete and my, in my case the game is installed in d drive in your case it might be in c drive so open c drive open program x86 open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder and open the common folder and then you should be able to see your game folder in my case uh, the game is installed in d drive so i once you open the common folder you will be able to see your game folder and then open the open the folder and then go ahead and delete the shader cache file make a right click then click on delete and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now also make sure that you close all the background application so go to the start menu and then open settings in case of windows 7 uh, windows 10 and then you can go ahead and type in background apps so just type in background apps in search and then make sure that this one is off this is if this is on go ahead and turn it off and this will go ahead and close all the background application also if you have any kind of overlay or overclocking application running on the computers in my case i have msi afterburner running over here so you can go ahead and close this if you have any kind of overclocking application or overlay application i also have discord so make sure that you close the discord you just exit from here too just make a right click on this and click on quit discord if you have geforce experience running you can go ahead and close the geforce experience so close all the overlay apps and also if you have programs such as fps monitor or fraps or bandicoot cam so go ahead and close it and if you have any kind of recording application running in the background go ahead and close so just make sure that you have only the game running in the background and if you have a dual graphic card so in my case here i have a dual graphic card one is intel one is nvidia so make sure that the game is running on dedicated graphic card so just make a right click on the uh, desktop and then click on nvidia control panel and once the control panel is open go to manage 3d settings 
then go to program settings and then click on add and then go to the game installation folder if you have if you see the game over here in this list go ahead and select the game so select the game and then click on add selected program if you don't see the game in the list you can click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then you can go ahead and select the exe file select the exe file and then click on open once the game is added over here on the bottom here you can see the option which says select the preferred graphics processor for this program click on this down arrow and select high performance nvidia processor then click on apply and once it is done you can go ahead and close nvidia control panel and then you can go ahead and try to launch the game now you also make sure that you disable the antivirus uh, for few users uh, i've seen that disabling the antivirus has fixed the problem or you can go ahead and add the exception for that particular game and then you can go ahead and try to run the game so if in my case i have a vast running over here so before i before you launch the game just go ahead and you know disable the antivirus so make a right click and i'll disable it until computer is restarted so similarly if you have any other antivirus go ahead and disable the antivirus you know before you launch the game and then you can go ahead and while playing the game keep the antivirus disabled and once you're done playing the game you can always enable your antivirus program the next step is to perform clean boot to perform clean boot just type in system configuration in windows search just type in system configuration and open system configuration or you can just type in open the run box just type in run and open the run box and then type in ms config m s c o n f i g just type in ms config and then click on okay it will open this window go to the services tab then put a check on option which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here then click on disable all and then click on apply okay and then restart your computer and then try to launch the game if nothing works then you can go ahead and uninstall and reinstall the game so go to your steam client or epic games launcher uh, make a right click on your uh, game and then select properties go to local file then click on unins uninstall the game so try to uninstall and reinstall the game and then that should go ahead and fix the problem so one of the steps should help you to fix multiple issue with your game so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel